so before I continue on with our new chicken house, our scrap built chicken house, I wanted to show you another scrap built chicken house that we built um, initially to house our chickens and we needed a place to put our chickens. We had gone and gotten free birds. Um, I'm going to save our chicken story for another time because that is interesting all in of itself. But this right here uh, was our uh, initial chicken house design. That building we were going to save for a tack room or a landscape building. And that's why I got moved all over the place so much. But this was going to be our chicken house design. Shauna and I had watched a lot of videos on mobile chicken houses, chicken tractors, things like that. And so we thought, why not build a chicken tractor? Or something that we could move the chickens around the farm on. But as we did more and more research, what we decided was we liked having a chicken house, something that we could muck out and then use uh, the manure and things in the, the bottom of the chicken house and take it out and, and uh, use it in our compost. So um, we kind of abandoned the, ch the chicken tractor idea, although this was initially the start of our chicken tractor. We were gonna put this thing on wheels and have it so that the, the tractor could lift one side and carry it around. This is our old dog kennel. Uh, when the dogs no longer needed it, we decided that we would use it to build a, a chicken tractor. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that old dog kennel and put it back together. Our dogs have a shocking new system, so they're allowed to wander wherever they want to go, and if they go too far, the boogeyman gets them for them. Now we can use our dog kennel as our chicken actor. How heavy it is. All right, babe. Good job. They're really light. That's why we're using them as our chicken actor. Really light Somebody on Facebook said to put the whole family to work. You know, keep everybody busy. That's what we're doing. We're doing a good job, babe. Thanks. I feel like one of those ladies who used to carry the water on their head. Were they still do that? Um. Don't know. Right here? Yeah, right there so that Abner can watch us. All right, go get another one. Look at those muscles. You're not supposed to lie on TV. Yeah, you're not supposed to lie on TV. No? What's he doing, Daisy? That's me, baby. Bunches, what are you doing, baby? Hello, oh, what a good girl! Oh. Always the one doing all the work. <laughs> you know, you don't have to film this whole part. I'm starting to get tired. It's hard to make it look good. <laughs> well, this way you'll have lots to, of film to choose from when we do our edits. Or you can just fast forward through the whole thing, like some people do. I'm going to put the door over on this side so that right up front here we can attach our tractor lift so we can lift it with the tractor. So we put the 
door here. Now it makes sense. Actually, we could put the door there in front. Which one? I'd say the side. Side? Mm hmm. <laughs> it's like a hammer loop or socket wrench. The butt. Mm -hmm. Like that? I need your help. Oh. I try to do this without your help. It won't turn out right? Oh, it will turn out fine. This could be more difficult. Like Brace. So this is the basis of our chicken actor. Chicken run. Chicken tractor. Um, it's basically a dog kennel. Very easy to put up. Um, we already had it at the, at the, we already had it here, so why not use it? It's relatively stable, but uh, we're gonna have to do some reinforcing here and there, but that's okay. It's a little heavier than your typical chicken tractor, but that's, fine too because we're going to use a three-point hitch system with our tractor to be able to kind of lift it and move it. We may have to install a couple extra wheels that flop down, but we've got this thing covered. We'll see. Now we just have to put our roof on our system and we're still going to have to put in chicken wire because uh, this won't on, keep the snakes out. I didn't know you were still talking, so I was like half walking away. Okay, so we Wait. have... Okay, now it's recording. We have a very old, decrepit, barn-ish structure on the ranch that houses a bunch of random stuff. It had, it had a bunch of junk whenever we first moved in. We cleaned out this bay and that bay enough to be able to put some of our own junk into. And so now it's kind of a mix. Um, that bay was used primarily for hay and this one's got just a bunch of random stuff. So we're gonna see what we can find in uh, the area that will work for part of the chicken coop. So the roof and the um, beds and anything else we need for the coop part. Hmm. So this barn has all sorts of cool stuff in it. Uh, like she said, some of it is our junk, some of it is everybody else's junk that has left it over the years. Um, when we moved onto the property and we moved into a camper, we had to move a bunch of stuff in here all at once after we had cleaned it up and it got all messy again. But um, we still come back here. Before we throw all this stuff out, we've been going through it to figure out what we can use and what's just completely bad. So um, we're gonna rummage through this and see if we could find that stuff for the chicken coop. So far, my imagination is not good, except for that milk crate right there. Yeah, I already used it. You could make a roosting thing out of this box. I don't think so. I think it's too big. We've got a pretty hardy. Pretty hardy. Pretty hardy structure that we're building, babe. I know. Let's keep looking. You see a nut and a bolt while, or two bolts while you're at it. Oh, we've got plenty of nuts and bolts up there. This is my secret stash of nuts and bolts. I don't know what will work without bringing the pieces over here though. That's them on the floor. Sure. Are those water? Oh, they could be. Oh, underneath? I guess the ports? Good as I 
I thought they would be. It's wood. Is that too sharp? It is a little sharp on the edge, but we might have to. I might have to walk out, out with him. That could be a good feeder. I was thinking about that, but it's sharp. I don't know that I like that it's sharp. It's dull on the edges. So if you had pull this... it out as an option, and then grab some of that piping in case too. So yeah. That... Mm -hmm. Feeder. Mm-hmm. Grab that shorter one right there. Yep. And grab that other shorter one. Which one? On the top, on the right. Yep, that one. It's pretty narrow. Yep. Bring all those. It's my waterproof box. It's supposed to be for like a fishing license or your phone. It's quite handy. I used to keep that milk jug in the back of my car. Board there, board this way, board this way. These two boards going down also help frame out the area where we're going to be putting our nesting boxes. There'll be another board that's mounted to these lateral boards in here, wherever we're going to be doing the bottom of the, the box. You follow? Mm-hmm. And How then everything that we built from here will be on that side and anchored to the double posts that are crossing right there. Or I might just take a big board and put it across with one of these just under it, wherever we're gonna anchor it. So this, this. It'll all depend on how wide it is, I think. Yeah. Well, it still might be better to take a bigger board and run it all the way across. And then to fill the gap of the cage, just put a one by right underneath it and then you're screwing up through both of those. But this gives it the most support and then that will give it support going downward. And this will also frame out where we're going to, this will give us framing that we can use to create the things that pull out. The nesting boxes? Yes. The access point for the nesting boxes? So do you follow what I'm doing? Theoretically. What's happening? Low battery. 
Oh, it doesn't have enough juice. Take two. I'm wondering if we even need to put ones on the ends. Because that's all it's gonna do is shift it from side to side, but this won't shift once we build onto it. What did you do to yourself? Put it on my foot. Oh. Is that you trying to be even? It's been how I lost it. <laughs> I'm just going with the chain links. Let's hope that they were even. Well. you just put it up against the top board to measure. I actually think I might want this bottom board a little tighter to the pole at the bottom because it's going to be supporting the weight. So you'd have to cut more of the corners off? Uh, or just cut it shorter. It's not going to make a difference. 
This is how you measure things. Just like that. So part of the beauty of it is the eyeballing. You're way short on this side. Would you like me to eyeball it? My straight tends to be a little more straight than your straight. Statistically speaking. Get ready, it's gonna be loud. It's okay. to show you how things are done the right way. Uh, yeah. Right there. That's my mark. Pretty genius, huh, Kaya? So genius. What are you doing now? Hey, I'm putting bolts on so they will stay. So that's it, right there. That right there is our entire support system for our chicken house in our chicken actor. Chicken actor? That's what it is, it's a chicken actor. Why is it called a chicken actor? Because when we're done building this, it's gonna be a robust chicken tractor. Do you need more metal? Um, I don't think so. Because what I think I'm going to try to do is secure these overlapping panels here in the center and then bend these down and secure them here after I have put this up here and bent it here. So the corners, for the most part, are covered, minus a few ventilation spots. I also put this here to arch the tip because the tarp we had was sinking in because it was just chain link. So it was like sagging real bad in the center. 
So I put this and I'll pull it the rest of the way through, but it'll also create a, a better vent so that there's some heat can get out, less heat in there. And then I'll just put one up, one up, bend those in, bend those down, secure everything. Put this one and that one up on this final panel so there's a little bit of an overhang. If we need it, we might not need it, but it's a little short here. That's why I was thinking of doing that. And then we might need more metal if we can close it up here. Like if we end up, if we want to fully close this part off, all except for maybe an opening, then we'll maybe need one or two more panels. But that will keep them warm for now. How does it feel to be outside? I love it. We're gonna have to do a second layer. I was hoping not to have to. How is it going to affect its, um... Yeah. How is that going to affect its line, its line its lineup? The zip tie? Yeah. Because uh, I didn't... Just do the top ones and then we'll do the bottom ones. Or do your second layer on the inside of the thing. That's a better idea. Catch. I'll leave it for now on it. We've got to line it up a little bit. Anyway, so this design was not flawless at all um, because it has a lot of problems, especially if you're going to use it as a, as a chicken tractor, the weight being one of them. Um, but we basically, we built this and we put a small chicken coop on the inside. That kind of came later. The, the small nesting box was for some of the chicks that we had gotten. Um, oddly enough, this chain link in snow, uh, the snow would cover up the top and, and eventually not fall through anymore. So uh, in, in snowy conditions, it actually kind of worked like a giant igloo. It's definitely an eyesore on our property and it's not something you could really clean up because it's, it just looks like a pile of scrap metal that we've thrown together. And that's really at this point what this is. So this was our, our first uh, built from scrap chicken house. Um, 
and that is what our chickens have been in for the last, I want to say, a year. To, yeah, about a year. And um, it has worked okay. We put up some chicken wire on the inside to uh, help keep predators out. Uh, we did have an issue right here. There's a little bit of a gapping up at the top. A raccoon got in there and actually took out a couple of our hens, our baby hens. That was not a good situation, to say the least. So we're finally moving on from this to something a little more stable and secure. And that doesn't look pretty right now, but once we paint it and we finish trimming it out with boards, it's gonna look nice.